Françoise Rosé was a French opera singer, disseuse, and actress who enjoyed a film career of over 60 years and who became a legendary figure in French cinema. She went on to appear in over 100 movies in her career. Life in Korea Rosé was born Françoise Bandy de Nalish in Paris, the illegitimate daughter of Marie-Thérèse Chauvin, an actress known as Sylvie she originally planned to become an opera singer, and in 1917, won a prize at the Paris Conservatoire and made her debut at the Palais Garnier in the title role of Salambo by Ernest Rea. She also sang in Castor A. Pollux by Rameau and Ties by Massenet. Her first recorded film was Falstaff in 1911, and she began to work in Hollywood from 1929 onwards. In 1917, she married the director Jacques Fider, with whom she remained until his death in 1948, having three sons. She appeared in several films under her husband's direction, including Le Grand Jeu, Pension Mimosas, La Kermesse Héroïque and Les Gens du Voyage. Rosé spent the duration of World War II in Switzerland, where she taught acting classes at the Conservatoire de Genève. She still appeared in films during this time, notably the British Halfway House as the refugee French wife of a British sea captain. During her career, she appeared with all the great stars of French cinemas, including John Gabin, Michelle Morgan, Ray Mou, Jean Morrow, Danielle Daria, Michelin Prezela, Paul Maurice, Gerard Philippi, Louis Juve, Michel Simon, Simone Signoret, Fernandel, Jean-Louis Barrow. In Hollywood, she co-starred with Charles Boyer, Maurice Chevalier and Buster Keaton and worked with directors such as William Dieterler, Martin Ritt, Ronald Neem and Peter Glenville with Danny Kaye. In England, she appeared in The Alien Corn, a segment of the W. Somerset Moore anthology film Quartet, a highly accomplished pianist herself in real life. She played the role of a famous piano virtuoso who gives aspiring pianist Dirk Bogard a compassionate but honest and devastating critical appraisal of his likelihood of becoming a great musician, which results in his suicide. She performs in the film Schubert's Impromptu in E-flat. In 1950 she appeared on stage at London's Winter Garden Theatre, playing the title role in Madame Tic Tac, but it had only a short run. It was not until 1938 that her natural father, Count François Louis Bandy de Nalish, acknowledged her as his daughter. Her final appearance on film was in the Maximilian Schell directed Academy Award nominated and Golden Globe winner for Best Foreign Language Foreign film of 1974, Der Fussganger. She died in Montgeron, Ile de France, near Paris. Her grave is located in Sorel Moussel, Ile de France, where she is buried with her husband, movie director Jacques Fider. Partial filmography, Les Vampires, Crane Kabila, Madame Recamier, Le Petit Café, Le Grand Jeu, Pension Mimosas, Remaus, La Kermesse Héroïque, Jenny, Draw Older Drama, Les Gens du Voyage, Farendis Folk, Une Femme des Parite, The Halfway House, Johnny Frenchman McAdam, Saraband for Dead Lovers, Quartet, September Affair, Maria Chap Delane, The Thirteenth Letter, I Figli Dinesino, L'Auberge Rouge, Wanda La Pecatrice, Kai Sends a Pecato, Le Banquet des Frauders, Les Sep P. Acute C. H. E. Acute S. Capito, La Rain Margo, Rag as a Doggy, Me and the Colonel, Digans von Sedan, The Sound and the Fury, The Full Treatment, Frauchini's Ender, La Metamorphose des Cloportis, Trois Milliards Sans Essentia, Der Fussganger the Pedestrian, 